morning guys, haven't even had my morning cafe yet and the band is already marching through the barangay, happy fiesta day! It's actually my first time ever in the Philippines and it's fiesta day and I'm living in within like this kind of environment where I can actually see the fiesta activity. Another episode of ending up on um, hidden inside roads in with a, our scooter in a farmland. In a farmland. <laughs> hi. Oh, hello. Oh my goodness. Hello. Hi. Hello. This is an insight and view of beautiful rice fields ready to harvest in Nueva Ecija and we came here because our relatives here um, own a rice farmland and I've been always so interested to see like the whole process of how the harvesting goes with the color balls and everything so we came to check it out and not just for entertainment but also since you guys know that my parents are interested in starting a farm soon in the Philippines even though they are leaning more towards having like a fruit farm but it's we wanted to like just see a bit of insight on how things work so we just want to learn, want to see how everything is and I'm very excited because I always wanted to see a local harvest day and here's Banson Hello My um, driving coach from a previous vlog, you guys could see him <laughs> Ay, oh, That color boy is talking to me I need to check this out I think she's calling you <laughs> Yes, I think so Ay, Hi we made friends already because ah. I wait. Hi. Ah. I'm already. Yes. You guys know I love calabos. My dream to have a calabo in the Philippines. Ah. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> eat it. The. I know what you like. That one. Yes. Mm. Mm. See them talking. Mm. I found my best friend. This is what you like. This is really good also guys, like the rice um, farm is on the other side of the road but here our relatives have a little like other farmland which has a little kubo so when there's harvest time then you can chill here um, There's some manga, my dad would love this yeah, On the other side it's full of mango trees that would be something like this would be so perfect to have like maybe a rice land the same way and then still have like a little vegetable garden or mango plantation that's really cute <laughs> they are selling that oh. on the other side you can, we can be neighbors we can be neighbors <laughs> that, that was easy we can be neighbors i could so live in a farm area like this though guys like just have a rice farm have a little kubo of course we would make it not just a like a kubo but like a mini house and then have some mango trees and then this land um, even have um, another additional area behind the mango trees like a little potential vegetable um, garden area only neighborhood farms in the area this would be so perfect I could imagine ourselves in a place like this this is, this is modern farming, you just stand in your kubo with a drone and watch how it's done. Yes. I 
because this is the first time I see a halimau in action. So halimau is this. What does halimau say in English? It's just harvester. Halimau is monster. Monster. So it's a harvester. It's a monster in harvest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, halimau. They are putting the sack there manually and then it's peeling it. Oh, okay. So, so, and then after they will tie it and then kick it. Just kick it and then that's when it falls. That's so cool. For the rice that it spits out, that's collected, it's already already. Like rice grain. The machine itself removes all the, like, what do you call it? The stems the grass <laughs> part of it and it's only the grains left and then then it's squattered all around the rice land so that's why they will need the kalabas to actually gather it and collect it from the field my first time so close to a halima very cool very very cool guys we also have because a harvest day is not complete without picnic <laughs> We have some cool pampanga special um, cheese bread. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's very good. Ogaldero. Oh. Sinigang. Mmm. And then. Ay, again. Walang kanin. Walang kanin, maraming sinigang. Wow. Rice! Maraming kanin. Oh, maraming kanin. Marate kakay. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Ben's on enjoying our vegan corn yes, beef. <laughs> same, same dough. It's the, it's the same, the same. See guys, <laughs> those who are worrying that we don't eat meat, it's the same. It's our usual camping food that we brought for the farm day also. Same. It's like a pure food. It's corned beef. Corned beef. Corned beef. Corned beef. It's like corned beef. Oh, we have a lot of credit. Not sponsored. Unmeat, please sponsor us. My friend is starting the work. Anong pangalan niya? Pangalan? Oh. Ambu. Ambu? <laughs> uh, ambu. Ambu? <laughs> Mabait pa siya. Kada ka mag... Hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> you are very mabait. Mabait si Ambu. <laughs> we are going with Ambu to pick up the rice. This is the original 4x4. Four four. Shout out to all the hardworking Kalabaos and farmers. It's so hot already. We've been here for a few hours. It sure is so hard work for everyone to be here all day harvesting. Thank you. 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 Kalabao friends, but the farmer said that there's supposed to be some kind of Kalabao race nearby, so we are just trying to find that now. It's a fiesta in this area as well, just like at home, and we found the Kalabao dedicated area, but it seems it's a resting time right now because it's the hottest hot part of the day. Oh, oh. Ano ang pangalan niyo? Eh, ano ma'am? 
Mabait ba siya? Mabait ba siya? Mabait ba siya? Pwede pa. Sige ba, pwede ako. Hi! Hi! Guys, it's so sweet. Thank you, kuya. Sige pa. 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 Eh, mga nga magtagalan. Wala po na. Wala po. Sige pa. Sige pa. Sige pa. Sige pa. Mabait ba siya? Yes! Mabait ka! Mabait ka! Mabait ka! Yes! Good! Yes! Opa na katira po ako sa Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa! Ay, may minag. Kapyao! Sa Nueva Ecija! Oh, no, I say I didn't know. Ana pangalan niya. Rauli. Oh, hello. Dudugo. Si Chetas pero takot konti. No, no, no. Hindi takot, hindi. Thank you for Kuya. Thank you. Good luck po. Guys, we are slowly getting known in the Calabar conventions around the province. We've been like to one accidentally also over a year ago just to check out the cute, cal cute calabows and some people recognize us. We are the official calabow ambassadors of Nueva Asia. <laughs> oh, are you? oh, cute. Oh, how cute. Oh, cute. Oh, oh, open. Oh, fashionable. Very fashionable calabows, Dito. Hello. Red line. Hello. 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 Hello First, the color balls can run, which I agree. But honestly, like I always feel bad for them a bit that they, they are like being forced to run so much. It's the same with horses. I actually used to do horse riding ever since I was eight years old. I did it for many, many years and I stopped at the end because I realized that I just love being in the presence of these animals. I don't necessarily want them to do attractions for me or want to ride them and things like that. If it's a beauty contest, we like. Yeah, we would like. We would prefer a color bob beauty contest. Let's make a color bob beauty contest where they don't have to run. Just admire how cute they are. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ready to go on the color bob event, and the whole fiesta is still going, but so 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 hot that we will have to be leaving. But shout out to all of our friends who apparently already know us from our last Levi Vai color bob. Um, event <laughs> where we attended and I would like to recommend for the Calabau community to start doing Calabau beauty contest. A Calabau show. A Calabau beauty contest show where they will be like like accessorized, like a dog show where they are dressed up just with Calabaus. That would be the cutest thing ever.